is Chuck Lock. Chuck Lock. All right, we are back. Um, we have Jimmy Ballard with his trademark EV Lucian's deck, and Jeremy with Chuck Lock. Um, so, M cell codes. M cell code C. Um, I don't know how to say it. I'm sorry. Um, there will be three more games, um, including this one. Um, so here. The double EV start. Yep, the double EV start from Jimmy. Um, I don't know who's going. I think Jimmy's going first. Have they decided? I I believe so, but oh nope, Jeremy's going first. Chuck Lock is a Tyranitar deck. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Eevee's is, is pretty straightforward. Chuck Lock is, is named after a, a former player who created <laughs> this deck from uh, the Chicago area. Yep, for sure. I think he went on a tear with this deck, didn't he? This was before my time. I started playing in 2007. Gotcha. So I, I heard stories of the of the team Chicago people, mm -hmm. I, I, I've, uh, but I believe he did. I, he played this in Bomb Tar. He kind of tore through. Jimmy beat him in top eight with when he was playing Bomb Tar, which was dang. If he was, this deck that Jimmy's playing was a world's featured deck. You could buy at Walmart or your Target. I'm, I don't think I could say. Can I say those on stream? But. <laughs> I used to be able to buy them in major retailers everywhere mm -hmm. 14 years ago. Yep. Um, so right here we have Jimmy doing Call for Family, just setting his board up. Um, he's getting a Pidgeot. Um, so as we've seen, Pidgeot has been really useful. But what's interesting about Jimmy's deck is that he actually uses Pidgeot as one of his main attackers. Actually, there and was then... Yes, um, and then Jeremy here with Chuck Lock is pretty much a spread deck, um, so um, it spreads damage by so it spreads damage by with Tyranitar's uh, Pokebody on basics, and then it also uses um, Dark Ampharos. Yep, Dark Ampharos to punish evolving Pokemon, and then to put the combo off. There's um, ATM Rock, which devolves everything on the bench, um, uh, which devolves all um, evolutions from your opponent. So, I mean, if there's a rare candy used, punishes rare candy, and then um, there's just a bunch of damage counters put on. So, and I believe it also has to play Desert Ruins. Uh, mm -hmm. As you saw in the last game, Desert Ruins. Um, <laughs> And here we go with Jeremy. Oh, Jeremy doing an explosion. So I believe. So I believe actually that because of the heads, Jeremy is able to evolve into the Tyranitar. Yep. And this is it. Oh man, the spread damage is already building up. Thank you for cutting me right into that. Ooh, <laughs> top deck. Top deck right into rare candy. That's Does he have the Pidgeot? Cool. <laughs> oh man. That's pretty cool. So. Jimmy has a full. Uh, there's a podcast. I think it was the Snowpoint podcast or video where jimmy went into like in depth about this deck um probably like two ish months ago uh when when quarantine started i remember he uh he was a part of this and he explained the intricacies of this deck and uh, an idea of how to play it and uh what he faced in his run to uh worlds in uh, 2006 mm-hmm but, uh, Very interesting read. I think it still might be on Poke Beach. No, it's a video. Or, or, it's or is it Poke Beach? It. Oh, the really? Video. I think it's the, the Snowpoint. Uh, the Snowpoint. I think it's called Snowpoint Group, something like that. Mm -hmm. They uh, he did an interview with them, and it's like forty-five minutes long. Yeah. Where he explained his play testing and what led up to him deciding <laughs> to play Eevees um, at Worlds, and it turned out to be quite the decision. And he would have won if uh, <laughs> he did not play against the one thing that. 
had a, a rough time against. Right. But, yeah. Um, it's an Espeon that entered play. Tricky Jim. <laughs> Yep. So Jimmy here is is um quick searching. Wonder what he's looking for. Has he played a supporter this? No, he hasn't. No, I don't believe he's played a supporter. So. Let's just reset and see what happens. Here we go. I need to hit a Flareon and an energy. So Jimmy. Digging for. Digging for Flareon and energy. Yep. He will be in a great position if he does. Espeon could also devolve. I did the same thing. Yeah. So if uh, he puts enough damage up on his. Uh, Pupitars or Mareeps or, or, or his, he could devolve into uh, he'd devolve his Tyranitars and his uh, well, Mareeps or his Amphroses into their Mareeps or mm -hmm. Flaffies or whatever it may be. Yeah, um, for sure. This tech doesn't necessarily go for the big one-hit KOs no bueno. uh, like Blastoise does. Um, it's a lot of... Uh, Similar, I, I want to compare it to like the SP mirror where it doesn't wasn't necessarily all one shot, one shot, one shot, but methodical. Uh, yes, for sure. Poking of of the big monsters, Pokemon, mm -hmm. which are pocket monsters. But. Yeah, this there's a lot of planning involved in the Eevee's deck. Um, I mean, I, talking to Jimmy, I mean, sometimes even just the best option is just to clutch with a Pidgey. <laughs> Clutch, I mean, has, Clutch has been the MVP today in multiple... You, you. For sure. Yeah, oh, yeah. Watched your way to victory. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we've we seen how good Clutch can, Clutch can be. Uh, the, one of the first times I played Retro ever was uh, 2006. It was 2006 format. It was about when Jimmy first started collecting. Um, and a uh, uh, buddy of mine, RIP, Ryan Blackman... Oh. Yeah. Uh, he clutched me for eight consecutive turns. <laughs> eight turns. We, we clutched. Out. We clutched each other for eight consecutive <laughs> turns, and he won the game, um, grand time. But clutch is has extreme playability. Despite when you read that card for the first time, you're like, oh, this isn't doing nothing. Right. And then it could just single handedly uh, win games. Yeah, definitely. Just buying enough time. So here we have Jeremy. Um, using Hull on Mentor, able to get three basics under 100 HP. So it looks like he's starting to set up Ampharos, which is definitely part of the strategy. Um, Ampharos uh, has a Poke Body where if, um, if your opponent evolves, they put two damage counters on that Pokemon. So, when you um, when you devolve uh, your opponent's Pokemon with uh, ATM Rocket, you know, then they just take another two damage if they evolve again, and does, with an additional damage from Tyranitar's Pokemon. How much HP does Eevee have? Forty or fifty? Um, I'm not sure actually. By the way, it doesn't take a whole lot uh, to get those knockouts after you devolve. I, I would like uh, to say f 60, but um, I yeah. For this format, yeah, for this format, I I didn't even know about it. Somebody else. I, I, I feel like I I I can picture the image on the card, but yeah, I don't I don't remember that. Very so Jeremy starting to set up. His board. Let's see, does he got anything in his hand? Let's see, there's the double rainbow. He's got some some good stuff in there. He's got a, the double rainbow. A reap. So 
Let's He's got a candy I saw in there. 50 mm -hmm. plus 20 is 70. So it's doing 60. You just did 140. And Jeremy, with the double oh, rainbow okay, energy, yes. so um, just, just hits Jimmy's Eevee for 140. Yeah. Poor Eevee. It's a little fluffy yeah, Palmeranian. Um, so you get the option to like promote, I mean, not that you uh -huh. would, but promote that to avoid sand damage. Yeah. Okay. So, so here, double rainbow actually makes it so that you do 10 less damage, but since there's a special dark energy attached to the Tyranitar, then it's offset. So, it's just doing regular damage. And if he pushes up that Eevee here, he's going to avoid the sand damage yep. on the Eevee, because it's the bench, and it's once it becomes at, in between, it's active as of the in between turn phase. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So here, Jimmy promotes the Eevee to avoid sand damage. I think I think he knows what he's gonna do because um, otherwise he probably would have gone into Pidgeot for for a pivot. But here we go. Oh, he's going for it. This is this oh is, man, this here is we go. Play. To Umbreon. Oh man. He pretty much, by the way, I don't know if that card has been played on stream. He pretty much Ninja Boyd if he played in the time of Ninja Boyd. Mm -hmm. Ninja Boyd. He nin uh, he, nin he's, he used the Flareon to put the special conditions on to uh, and then he Ninja Boyd into this Umbreon here. Yep. So, oh man, so here Jimmy is trying to lock Jeremy out of the game um, because Umbreon EX's Black Cry makes it so that um, Jeremy can't use any Poke Powers during his next turn. Pidgeots will be so, useless. Exactly. They'd be just flying around aimlessly. Yep, just not flying around in circles. To, not being able to search. <laughs> yep. So this is a very risky play from Jimmy. He just put a fighting weak EX into the active. So if Jeremy flips heads on his attack, this Umbreon AX is getting knocked out, which will be very rough. He'd be down to th down three prizes, yeah. four turns, five turns into the game. Yep. But luckily, Jeremy only has this one. Only has this one um, Tyranitar set up. So. Talk about people playing uh -oh. the clock. You never. I remember. I think I played against you. We were playing a VVV mirror. Oh my god, that was so <laughs> bad. <laughs> that was that was just it was like coin flips. Coin flips. Coin flips. <laughs> coin flips everywhere, bro. Oh my god. Disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's playing the like, yeah. Hate the play. Hate the game, not the player. You, yeah. You, you play with the rules you're given. And yeah, you for find sure. Something a way to whether you know some people aren't gonna like you for it, but yeah. I don't know that specific situation um, at at that World Championships, but yeah, I mean, if 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 clutch is all you can do, I mean, that's just the play that you can do. <laughs> I mean, I maybe it's different from the time where um, in that Nationals Finals, 15 seconds was taken every turn and Waylord should have won. But hey, man, I don't know the situation. There's, there's a handful of... I remember there was an old YouTube clip that used to go around the old forums of... Uh, I think it was Jason and Sammy. Jason Klasinski and Sammy Sakum. They were playing uh, Team Galactic's Wager. <laughs> One of them played oh, it. Oh, yeah. And they took about yeah. 15 minutes to play Rock, Paper, yeah. Scissors. Yeah, that was the longest game of oh, Best of One Rock, Paper, Scissors I've seen. There was seen. like eight of them. <laughs> They'd stop for a second and then go for it. it, it was, oh, okay, it was yeah, it was, it was Yassine Sakum. Okay, yeah. It was one of them. <laughs> It was one of them. It was, he was British. I just, that's, yep. I remember. Yep. Wait a second. Well, what does, didn't, doesn't Umbreon get rid of being able to use bug powers? Yes. Uh, I think it's using. I'm going to bench Magnemite. Did he, did he I don't think he used Quick Search. Oh. No, yeah, I don't think he did either. Scared me there for a second. 
Ooh, okay. Yeah, Caleb walked in with it. And Jeremy switching. Well, essentially searching for a Larvitar to put on his bench. Um, yeah, I, I agree with this play a lot. Um, oh, boy. Jeremy gets... Oh. Heal energies. So he's able to get rid of one status condition and heal a damage counter. So Jimmy is in a world of hurt right now. Oof. Oh jeez. Oh, okay, so Umbreon on the blocks, Public Powers on defending Pokemon. Okay, thank you, my Gianna. Oh, wow. Oh jeez, I don't know. Um, what Jimmy can do? Oh, heal energy is supposed to get rid of all special conditions. Oh. Heal gets rid of burn. What's up? Heal gets rid of burn too. It's only one condition. It's only one condition. Wait, what? Yeah, remove one damage counter. And, uh, no, 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 it's all special conditions. conditions. It's one damage counter, all special conditions. Yeah. So I get Alright. Thank you, Mighty Anna. Yes. I'm so proud of Pokemon learned how to use a computer. <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, I think that that's more impressive than Meowth just being able to to, to talk, man. Yeah, I mean, you Computers have, are complex, pa you have bro. pause and everything. It's not it's not easy to type. Yeah. Oh, this this T Tar is looking very intimidating right now. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, and, and Jimmy's uh, got a lot of stuff in his hands. Right. It's a matter of is any of it at all useful. Yep, he just drew four off of Steven's advice, but it's looking very rough. He, I think he he probably wants an uh an Eevee. Did he play that Pidgey that turn? This turn. The what? The Pidgey, because then it'd be the sand. Um, I think just he just played, played it, right yeah. And then I think Umbreon might have... Um... No, 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 Umbreon only blocks Pokemon powers, yeah. not not bodies. So, yep. <clears throat> Jimmy trying to think about what to, what to go for with the quick search. So... Oh, man... Yeah, this 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 T-Tar is definitely going to be um, interesting. It's going to be hard to get through. Um, unfortunately, unfortunately, Leafeon was not a thing, so um, it's not getting one to KO'd anytime soon. Uh, Again, looks like go for a burn and confused if he. So once I get over that, that's. Because I think he's gonna grab the Eevee but... here. Yeah. And he can rare candy a stage right one here. into a stage one. So if he does get, I don't know if Flaren has to be active or not. No, it doesn't. It's just when it evolves. But uh, he could, I guess, try to confuse. Stall. Yep. Yeah. Confuse corner stall because he can corner. He could corner. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, and then and then resistance. <laughs> Is it Pidgeot or Pidge? Good, good question. I don't know. It's like the Arceus Arceus question uh, last week. I got a message after that game. So I've been saying it wrong the entire game. <laughs> I go with Pidgeot because that's what I remember yeah, from the that, TV show. Yeah, that's what I remember too. Yeah, but I could totally be wrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sure He's you're devolving. Right. So. I'm pretty sure Jimmy's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Pidgeot <laughs> versus Pidgeot. I mean, it is Pidgeotto. These were my problems. So. How much damage? You still have damage on you, don't you? Oh, uh, thirty. Thirty or was it? It was ten. It was ten. I think it was, yeah, it was 10. Jeremy, 
Yeah, yeah, because you healed. Because he healed once, for sure. Yeah. So. I black cried. Yeah, only black cried once, and you healed. And then yeah, then healed. Yes, yes. And he never took burn damage. So. Yep. So, Jeremy. With the Stevens. Yep, Stevens for four. He got the rare candy Pidgeot. So the rock machine not really doing too much. And then I think he's just going to evolve back into Tyranitar. Can't imagine why he wouldn't. He's got the rare, he's got a rare candy in hand as well, so he could just start setting up a second Tyranitar. He definitely could. And, uh... Oh, is he going for the other Tyranitar? The, the, I think this is the energy, yeah, um... Oh gosh. It's the one that does like 10 times the amount of energy. Is it Spinning Tail? Yes, it's also the Spinning Tail one. It was featured previously uh, in the stream in uh, the Bomb Tar matchup. Mm -hmm. Although, I think Spinning Tail would do 10? I think. I'm not exactly sure on the wording of um, rainbow energy or double rainbow energy. Um, Just 20 damage to each of your opponents. Pokemon. Pokemon. Okay, so with double rainbow energy, I believe um, reduced by 10 damage. So I think, yeah, I think it would re reduce damage for all of it. So I think it's just the active. I could totally be wrong with that. The damage done to your opponent's Pokemon by the Pokemon double rainbow energy is yeah, attached to. It would be 10 or anything. Yep. So, it can't be attached to a basic. Yep. Alright, so Jeremy opting to go to uh, go do the other Tyranitar. And then, with the special darks, um, Jeremy bites off for 80. This is not looking very good for Jimmy. It really isn't. Um, his Pidgeot's gone. He's four prizes down. He's got this lone Espeon. Yeah, I mean, this Jeremy just has this juggernaut of a Tyranitar. And at least this Espeon's weak to Psychic. So I guess it's not getting hit for weakness, but I yeah. don't think that matters very much it at this point. Um, yeah, this is looking pretty rough. I mean, Dark Tyranitar even has uh, resistance to Espeon, so Espeon can't even damage it. <laughs> appears that, so he's got like Pidgeotto and Umbreon. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not... I'm not really sure what uh what can happen here. I think. <laughs> Do you think it's time for Jimmy to clutch? <laughs> that might be his only way out. That really might you might have to if he could dig for the Flareon and just try to get a confusion. And I mean that's really honestly, that's the only hope he he currently has. Like that Tyranitar has ten damage on it. Mm -hmm. It's swinging for at least ten more. Uh, Don't have a quick search. There's an Umbreon. Yep, there's Bills. an Umbreon, Bills, Pidgeotto, Vaporeon. A whole lot of nothing, really. I mean, there's a Vaporeon that, that Jimmy could use, but it's not really... <laughs> it's not really going to do much in this situation. It's <laughs> alright, Dan. We all love you. We all make mistakes. Um. So. Jimmy really thinking about his options. This is a really tough turn. Um. 
I think what he's he might try to do is get the Pidgeot the the the, 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 the Pidgeot active. And I don't know how I'm gonna get over And he's gonna so try to Umbreon it. So mm-hmm. right now. Um so that prevents at least one turn of quick draw. Yeah. But that doesn't matter that much if he's got the rare candy and Pidgeot and in his hand. Jesus. Yep. That's awful. So Yeah, yeah things reason, are things are looking uh <laughs> There's another Tyranitar also. In Oof. So, yeah, I mean, all, all Jeremy really needs is just another rare candy, and then that Tyranitar is back in business. Right. Uh, if there wasn't an opportunity for a corner lock, this would be the scoop phase for me. Yeah. <laughs> this would be like, I gotta hit up the subway. Yeah, pretty Start much. Start my lunch break early. <laughs> yep. <laughs> 30 minute lunch break? Nah, bro. Oh, no. If you get zonked, it's an hour lunch break. Yep. <laughs> or that happened to me before. Is round before lunch break got my champs. So I'm like, it's, I'm not even that mad. I'm I'm 3 1 right now, and I get a for 30 right? extra minutes for lunch. Right? I, I mean, you know, I, I, I mean, it feels really great to be your opponent. They just got to win and an extended lunch break. Yeah, but, I mean, you know what? I'm going back in a lot here. Okay. okay. Oh, see, we might see right? the corner. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go. Maybe not. I think he's going to go for the Umbreon here. Oh. So Jimmy, confusing and burning the active. Oh. And it looks like he might be going for the flame screen. It's reduced by 20. He's got 90 HP left, so you'd have to hit 110 to get the knockout. Yeah, I mean, I think that this is just... um. Just a um, two-hit KO, um, because next turn, Flareon can hit for 70, and with the burn damage, I think oh, it, it will be enough. He did take some burn damage there, and now he has to, and two attack, he has to flip mm-hmm. for the con, uh, for confusion. For yep. So... Can you retreat? Can you retreat when you're confused? Yeah, could retreat, I was yeah, I think that, that um you can retreat when you're confused. So it's just um if Jeremy does retreat, then that just takes a lot of pressure off of Jimmy because I believe that there are no switches. So um so e- even still, uh, I don't think Jeremy can knock out uh, the Flareon EX even if he does flip heads. So I I would probably like to see him retreat as. Um, as hard as it would be for Jeremy. Okay. <laughs> Jimmy forgetting to evolve into the Pidgeotto. I forgot last game to use the Metagross when there were two of them on my bench. Twice. <laughs> hey man, it happens, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Luna Pog Champ. <laughs> Will we see Jimmy make, start to mount a comeback? Or will Jeremy be able to clear, to to clear his last two prizes? No, I don't think there's a way for that Tyranitar to hit for a hundred and ten. No, I don't believe so. I I think at maximum, unless Jeremy gets another special dark, um, that Tyranitar is only hitting for eighty. Eighty. Tyranitar's Tyranitar's bite off does one twenty. One twenty base EXs. Oh, so it's just a flip then. <laughs> Ooh, what does Tricky Jim do? All I all, all I know is that you know Andrew Mahomes' channel is like <laughs> based off of that. But does Jeremy know he could possibly win the game this turn? Quick search. Man, am I gonna copy here? <laughs> Oof. It's okay. We can we can uh we can <laughs> search up what Tricky Jim does. Let's see here. So what Tricky Jim does if this ever loads? 
and the Ampharos <laughs> hasn't even hit the field yet, so arguably, you know, the one thing that would stack up damage on all these, uh, these, these, oh, there, it's on, it's on the screen now. Mm-hmm. Fate, it gives you each Pokemon with Darker Rockets in its name, uh, gets to use Faint Attack, which is just a 20 damage, uh, little snipe. Just 20 anywhere. I don't know what Rock does for That's alright. Oh, he, he retreats the Tyranitar sure. hard style into We're the... He's gonna stall some time. He's gonna stall. This is, this is... Well, putting an extra damage uh, onto this, everyone. This might be exactly what Jimmy wanted. I assume this is exactly what Jimmy wanted. I, I really don't um, see what else... Yep. Yeah, right. he could... So Jeremy... ATM rocks. Devolving everything. Putting one damage on the benched basics. And now the, Man, the ball's in Jimmy's it. court. I mean, also, like, the only reason to really do that. <laughs> 2,000 IQ plays? Quite possibly. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I definitely think it was right for Jeremy to, um, take his Tyranitar out of the active, because then otherwise, um, his biggest threat, um, would have been likely knocked out by, by Jimmy. I mean, he, there's still, uh, he plays reversals, I believe, so he could reverse it up if he chose to. Right mm-hmm. Here's he's going. He's gonna start poking at this Tyranitar here. Yep. So, what Jimmy could do is um, play Team Rocket. Uh, what was that? Uh, Team Rocket's admin. Yep. So play an N effect. He's but it looks like copycat. he's going for the copycat. So Jimmy opting to go towards a more conservative route yeah. instead of yeah. um, yeah. hitting. I'll, I'll the active for 70. <laughs> it definitely is important for this um, for this energy attachment to be on the bench DB because um, pretty much all of the evolutions attacks require um, two two energy attachments. So this I think this is just Jimmy giving himself more options. Jeremy, do you see you have seven cards in your hand? You got seven, right? Yes. Okay. Just a mild confusion over cards in hand. Um, are dock decks possible in this format? Not really. Um, Blastoise could, um, Blastoise do could donk, but you would need a very specific set of cards in hand. Like, I, I, like you would have to like start Pidgey, Rare Candy into Pidgeot. Yeah. You, it, well, it helps with, with, or with something. Blastoise That's because kind of all you do is sacrifice, you know. Back, like, uh, you get the cast like, form. Once you've confused it, like, it's you really with Lugia, so mm -hmm. you would need energy because yeah. you pop back your hand cast form right. and drop the energy back down. So it's not... Like, it's not impossible, but I would probably say that it was very <laughs> uncommon. Yeah. Um, now, when you have something yes. like... Like what we see in the 2009 okay. or 2010 formats, where we have Broken Time Space, where we have Claydol, where we have yeah, all of these, oh, where we have Uxie, all these ways to just draw cards on the first turn. Then that's when we start to see, you know, all these OP Donk decks. Well, donk. yes, oh my gosh, Shuffet Donk was insane. <laughs> but you would draw like, I remember just watching people just draw 40 cards uh, right. with no problem. Then it goes right back. And it just goes right back. <laughs> but yeah, this is. Uh, I mean, he, he's looking not as bad of a spot. If he could get the admin and admin, he's got it in his hand. Mm -hmm. Not as bad. You would be definitely not as bad as Shift Tree. Tree. Nope. Shift Tree or Sable Donk. They literally they they banned. They just said nah. Yeah. Pokemon was like nah, fam. Yeah, I mean, if you want to see something as bad as Shiftry, all you had to do was do 2010 format before the mid-season rotation. 
Those battle roads were awful. Yeah, I didn't even go. I went to one. I think I might have went to one and saw like the field, and I'm like, no. I mean, just like. Oh. Oh. Yep. He got he got crunched. Got crunched. Yep. Well, well we've had a. Uh, yeah, the, the whole couple, beginning, I was like, is there a Eevee in the um, prize? Like, you, you were sitting on two There are some close matchups. Nope. Definitely some close matchups. Um, so, there's there's some just significantly better. Yeah, this this um, um this matchup is definitely rough. <laughs> I mean, normally this but, is pretty a good This is actually a pretty good matchup for Eevee. Um, yeah. Jimmy just kind of drew <laughs> Yeah, he just... Yeah. He just got bodied. Um, yeah, Jeremy just had early pressure. And Jimmy just kind of stumbled. But, I had admin obviously not doing much. I had a yep. scientist. Well, next matchup will feature Ryan like Eggs, which was the well, just, last your hand was around five, of uh, like four five what cards. the uh, y'all viewers there. voted I for on our I various polls. Mm -hmm. Yep. Press F. F. So F. Yep. Um, the F other reason I have to pay respects. <laughs> yeah. um, um, I thought I had. We got Ryan Eggs. I don't know what Ryan Eggs will face. Emperor might Eevees. be Eevees, just to feature Eevees and again. It might be... Yeah, maybe, maybe we can see Eevees what Eevees can actually do. <laughs> um, but, uh... I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Ryggs was yeah. one of the more interesting decks. Oh yeah, for sure. Format. So, stick around. We will have two more matches yes. after this. So... Oh, sweet. CV Raman's really excited. <laughs> Right, it's, it's, I, you know, I was really hoping for Meganium, but Meganium was like one vote, one vote off. I thought about unvoting for Bomb Tar <laughs> just to get Meganium in, but I love Bomb Tar, so I was like, nah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's that's for sure. Oh yeah, Trump card was awful. Yeah, well, that, I don't know what they were thinking with printing that card. Yeah, I did. that was. Uh, yeah. That was a crazy, crazy. For sure. Card. So, yeah, I think we'll be right back. Yes. Thanks for watching so far.